Hey everybody, welcome to our second ever Q&A. My name is Ethan and thanks for joining us. So I'm going to answer three questions uh, from our comments section of our YouTube channel. And these are about George Washington, uh, the Revolutionary War, and other questions people have had throughout the last couple of weeks. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. If you click the subscribe button on the upper right hand corner, uh, you'll and then click down, you'll see a little notification button like a little bell and click that and you'll get a notification for every time we upload a new video and uh, we hope to see you coming back around we upload new content every week so let's uh let's just dive into the qas first question we have is from pl and this question was written underneath the first rug war blog that i did and the question is revolutionary soldiers did not have uniforms so so that continental uniform they are wearing is not accurate so interesting, good observation. First off, good observation, and thank you for your question. And I, I consulted with one of our in-house scholars and he provided me with an answer for this. During the war, there were definitely uniform shortages and other shortages throughout, throughout the Continental Army. And actually in 1779, George Washington stated some orders that there was a uniformity among states that were participating in the conflict. And so the, guy, the reenactors in the video that I shot, they are representing the 1st Virginia Regiment. And in that video, they are wearing a blue coat faced with red and lined with white. And this was actually per, actually per Washington's orders that he gave in 1779. And basically, you know, that is historically accurate. And yes, it absolutely was true that they were, that soldiers throughout the war has shortages of many supplies, but I think it's pretty cool that they're still upholding their general's orders even today. Brew Daddy 1911 asked a question in our wheat trading vlog. They said, the gentleman referred to the wheat as a seed. I always thought wheat was a kernel. Is seed an 18th century term before they started using the word kernel? Great question. I actually met with Justin, who's the guy who guided me throughout the video and he did some research and he provided this answer for me and it was a really good answer he went through uh, a, a few primary sources so justin's so justin's research came up with the following answer in general washington's letters and diary entries the grains of wheat barley and oats are free, frequently referenced without qualifying them as seed however these grains would be noted as seed when threshed and used for next year's planting or when washington would ident identify a particular variety such as english seed or the seed brought from the neck General Washington himself only used the word kernel once in reference to English field peas and a bug which eats out the kernel. The only other reference currently found within the papers is from James Cleveland in 1775 in which he informed of the planting of 2,000 peach stone kernels. Justin, thank you for that answer and Brew Daddy 1911 I hope that answered your question. So the last question is from FGHJKYY space HY and the question is so when Washington left the presidency, he required the rank of general. This question was left underneath our most recent blog of where is George Washington buried? And that's also a great question. We get that asked a lot. So thank you for that. After the revolution, Washington resigned his position as general and he also resigned as the commander in chief when he was done with the presidency. So in July of 1798, Washington is actually commissioned as Lieutenant General by President John Adams in the build-up to the Quasi-War. Now, if you don't know what the Quasi-War is, we actually have a really good digital encyclopedia entry on our website, and I'll put a link to that below in the description. Thank you again for tuning in for this Q&A. I really enjoyed answering these questions and working with my colleagues to find these answers for you guys. Again, please feel free to and ask whatever questions you may have in the comment section of our videos. We always love to help and teach people, teach people more about Washington, Mount Vernon, and Revolutionary War history. So again, if you haven't subscribed guys, please click the subscribe button on the top right hand corner of the page, and then you can click the notifications button and you can get a notification every time we upload a new video. I'll have our next QA for you guys in a few weeks. And in the meantime, we'll have another vlog up next week. So I hope you guys tune in and hope to see you again.